Hi, I'm Ryan. I'm going to be talking about the history of Don Gong from Nathan the Cat. Now, I originally, I originally made a blog for this way back in Ju July 2019 on my Brian Cook's Nightscape account, but ever since that YouTube account got terminated, the, the view got deleted from YouTube and I never downloaded it, unfortunately. So, so, so overall, the pre was pretty much lost. So now, and now I'm, so that's why I'm doing a remake of this blog. So, yeah, I'm I'm going to remake of all my other old blogs that I did in that channel. So now we're going to talk about the history of Nature Cat's favorite band, Doggone. So, so, so all this started off, started off as a as a musical segment and anime musical segment on on for a nature game called Nature Tunes. Yeah, Nature Tunes was an animated musical segment in that show, and what it was was that that the cast would sing. Which sing nature songs based on the episode that it appeared in, based on the episode, and then, and then which would usually last like a little over a minute. The song, the the songs would usually play over, over, over very fruits of various episodes of friend of friend and chicken episodes too. Yeah, it was it was it was kind of simple, but still it was, but still was worth it. And but the talk and the talk card for that for that for the one seasons one for the one seasons one and two they just the talk card just consists of the text Ninja Tunes on a dark background that's pretty simplistic but pretty basic but but that was but that's only used in seasons one through two but 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 look up ahead because the because the segment got got an update. Uh, but from season three and onwards, yeah, it got an update with the with the with the much more modern title card, very title card that has a that has a music note, purple pur 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 purple music note with the text with the yellow text, Ninja Tunes on stacked on top of it, and and I made via a zooming effect too, and the background was the same as the background used the season two the four title card of Fred Nature Gain in the, in the intro, yeah. The format for setting was also different as well. Yeah, and, and staff featuring clips from the show. I've staff seen all reverse clips of the episodes of the show. This time they had they they had anthropomorphic nature animals singing the songs and playing the instruments, all which took place on a stage. Yeah, yeah, and di made different animals would would do this and would do this and different animals would do it in every in every episode too. Yeah, and some of the songs in 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 some of the songs in 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 in, in the Nature Tunes segment were remade for the Simon Tunes series Nature Cat, which is performed by Terry and Killiam, and 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 yeah, yeah, as in yeah, because in Nature Tunes, a a song similar to the theme, uh, similar to the Nature Cat theme song, was performed by the Weasels, where they sing a song about otters. Yeah, about about the about about things about otters and then and then yeah and then four doggies that looked similar to dog gone yeah it looks very very similar to dog gone they appear to one of the nature tune segments <coughs> they look completely different from what they look like in the side from teen series very different they had more they look they look very much different they had more of a old look to them and everything yeah, so that was their very first appearance in the Nature Cat franchise. That was their very first appearance in the Nature Cat franchise. Yeah, and they did, and you could and they had different voice actors too, obviously. Every character every character had different voice actors too. Yeah, and yeah, and and the and and the sin the sin and vocals, the sin and voice the sin and voices for that segment would provide for the for that segment season three three through seven were provided by the the American Canadian Australian indie rock band, the Dampers. Yeah, they provide sin voices for 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 for, for the for the animals for so the animal sin voices as well as dog gone even that too. Yeah, but yeah and and lead guitarist and and background vocalist Carl Heber. 
wrote Man of Songs 2. Well, keep in mind that, that the damage is a fictional rock band. I just made it up. I just made the rock band up. I, I, I just made the rock band up. Yeah. They, they, they were just fictional any rock band I made up. And they're not real. They're, they're, they're just keep in mind they're fictional. They're not real. They're, they're fake and fan made. So, so, I know this has got nothing to do with Dog of Nature Cat, but, 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 but there's a segment that comes after Nature Segment called Fred Says, where, where Fred, the, where Fred Nature Cat talks about facts about nature with live action footage of kids playing in the background. And this, this would show on even number episodes of, of, of seasons one and two episodes. Yeah, but. Yeah, as a as as a single, but but from season three and but see, but for season three and onwards, this this segment would play along with Nature Tune segment. Yeah, and 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 this and the Nature and then this and the Nature Tune segment, this and the Nature Tune segment were 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 firstly dropped after after season seven. Yeah, because we want wants to make seven seasons instead of five seasons. He wants he wants seven seasons instead. So it's a drop to season seven. And and these didn't appear in Nature's Cat's biggest adventure nor other TV special nor other specials. So it's clearly dropped to season seven. Yeah. And after that, Dolka made a long absence. Dolka had a long absence for like about. Like about twenty or thirty something years, I think twenty five or something like somewhere around there. But but after, yeah, they didn't. After coming back in, they I don't know if they appeared in the in, in the French game back in action though, because I don't I don't I I've not ripped five much info on the reboot though. I I I I so I only five info about the original series. Yeah, and Ninja Cat and Rebecca Spark really wants Ninja Cat Tales abandoned. Yeah, she re- she really wants to she really wants to forget about Ninja Cat Tales. So, so 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 she completely so completely got rid of it. Though she wants to forget for good. So we're not having that. It's just so it's it's just now it's just Fred Ninja Game and Nature Cat. So just that. So they didn't appear in French game back in action though. But there is a segment that but but after a long absence for like for, since 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 Niche Seven in the season three or four episode of French again, they finally returned in Nature Cat the Diamond series. What a segment where the band's performance songs about nature similar to the original Nature Tune segment from Similar to the Nature Tune, similar to similar to the Nature Tune segment from seasons three through seven, and probably seasons one through two, they were on stage and people were cheering for them. Well, unlike unlike the cheering in there, they were cheering for them the whole time. In 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 the in the in, in the Nature Tune segment from season three and seven, they only cheered for them when they when they started performing and when and when and when they finished performing. Here they 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 all cheer for them the whole time. The crowd cheered for them the whole time, and it's on and it's from Teen Sarah's and Doc on Please Instruments. Yeah, it was a very uh, it's, it's a very similar costume to the to the to the to the, to the old Nature Tune segment. Yeah, yeah, and the f- footage of the episodes also play in this play play in that as well as they also did it in the Nature Tune segment in the original series too. Yeah, so so. So yeah, guys, that's some info I got to tell you about the history of Don Gone from Major Cat. Yeah, so that's some info I got to tell you about 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 that about that great band. So you may subscribe to my channel, comment, drink, and share. Bye, everyone. Have a nice day. Peace out. And guys, I want to tell you that the I've got to tell you that in the last th- that I'm I, I I'm I'm gonna I, I'm I'm Video capture many of the old flash games online. I've been capturing some of the Luring Planet games lately. I've been so far I captured the Rats game with the copy with numbers, I think, and then I and then I captured another game called Hotshot. And you look at the high scores. The high scores are just unbelievable. 
they're just so high. Lowest one is like 900. I only got as high as 160. I bet the highest can get in that game was like 300. But when when all the other scores were like lowest and and the all time high score terror like 900. Is that crazy? Is that crazy or what? <coughs> I mean, I don't know, I don't even know how they got score that high. I can't even get that high of a score. And it's hard. It's hard to even get. I bet you can be playing that game all day, try to get, try to, try to get, try to get a perfect game without any, without even missing the hoop. But it took me some time to. It took me a lot of practice for me to do really good on it. I didn't do perfect, but I at least did really good on it. I scored. I scored 160 points on that game. I would do. I would do play another game called Bubble. Master, it's by Addicting Games. I played a game before. It was kind of, it was kind of odd. The music was nice. I really, I really enjoyed the music. It was nice. Then, it featured Twisty Turtle and and Bouncy Bunny. I'm gonna do playthrough of that once they find out how play the games, tell me levels there are because these games never even tell you how many levels there are in these games. So I had to, put, so I had to play through the whole game to find out how many levels there were. And then I'm play I'm playing another I'm playing more lights I'm playing more learning plan games. One's called Mr. Elements Matching Game. Another one is I think I think another one where where you have to it's like a word search game and then not day word search, this one's another one. And then I think the one I think next one I'm gonna do is probably the lunch break game too. I'm gonna do that as well. As well as Fraction Friends is another one. I'm 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 gonna recall these games before Flask is discontinued in 2020 because I make an animated short film that's dedicated to Flash's re, re, Flash's discontinuation. Adobe Flash Bears plays discontinuation by like either the end of 2020 or early 2021. There's some time around there. But 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 yeah guys, I'm doing to play through a lot of these old Flash games so that way Especially the obscure ones, especially the ones, especially the ones that that came way before us, like Macromedia Shockwave. I'll plan, I'll plan you those because the older plan games like Rats and Mr. Elephant's Imagine the Game, those run over Macromedia Shockwave. They were they didn't, they didn't use Flash, but they used Macromedia Shockwave. That now that's old. So, so, so. I think what I think, I think the one I'm gonna do next is Mr. Ultimate's memory game. So yeah, guys, that's all I gotta say for this video, and peace out. Peace.